morning everyone and I know I am the one person between you and your coffee um, and hopefully some snacks as well so I will keep this very short. Um, so as when I was making these slides up, um, everything changed then last Friday with the OECD announcement in relation to the digital tax um, regime globally. Um, so I suppose what the OECD have been working towards over the last sort of 15 years is to have a one size fits all so that no jurisdictions has an advantage um, in relation to digital services and how do you tax digital services in each jurisdiction. Um, so as I mentioned, pillar one and pillar two also then were agreed there last Friday. Um, so really what you have is pillar one is in relation to digital services tax. So that's sort of um, advertising revenues, um, user interfaces, um, and that will be very much on the creation. Now that's going to be for very large companies. So the same of what they've done is carved out anything over 20 billion uh, turnover. So it's only going to be a very small amount of um, companies that will be impacted by that. Um, the good news is, as, as part of that, it will also then be getting rid of anybody else's digital services taxes, which I'll come on to in the next slide. Um, pillar two then is in relation to the digital, um, the, the global minimum tax. So as I'm sure you've all seen in the news over the weekend, um, the now global minimum tax from 2023 will be 15%. Um, and that's been agreed by over 136 OECD countries. Um, so it's probably going to be looking around the detail of how that will be implemented. Um, they're obviously looking for a very, very tight turnaround um, within two years. Um, the OECD doesn't really do anything within two years. Anything that's been done to date has taken a long, long time to implement. Um, so what we'll probably do is see November is the, the next month we should be able to see more detail around that. Um, at the minute it looks like it's going to be very large uh, multinational companies that will be hit with that 15% rate. Um, so that's sort of global turnover of over 750 million. Um, and then looking at um, local jurisdictions will um, have carve outs depending on their GDP. Um, so it's probably just having a look and keeping an eye out on how that will impact the Isle of Man over the next sort of year or two. There'll probably be a lot more information in relation to that. Just very quickly, there's the digital services tax, as I said, due to pillar one. Um, these are, there's going to be a standstill put in these and they should be taken out of local jurisdictions. Obviously, um, local neighbour, the UK, they were one of the very first ones, HMRC, to bring in the digital services tax. Um, so that was really any global companies that had sort of over 500 million uh, global revenues um, and if it's over 25 million in UK revenue. So there really was a sort of 25 million threshold um, in the UK on that. Um, so really there was the 2% tax. Um, obviously a few other uh, European countries had the same. Um, sort of just varying between 3 and 5% on that. Um, so we'll likely see all that, that regime sort of close in the next two years then. Um, one big thing um, a lot of that HMRC are really focusing on at the moment um, is the diverted profits tax, and it, they're really looking focusing on sort of digital, um, digital and software companies. Um, so really, it's looking at if you're avoiding a permanent establishment in the UK, or if you're diverting profits away from the UK. Um, so online services is a big um, focus for them. They've issued quite a lot of. Um, sort of nudge letters is what they what they term them or prompt letters um, and there's been long drawn out processes one of my clients at the minute um, we're now into the second year of this sort of negotiations with HMRC to say well actually this is all the amount of tax that should be due in the UK whereas the HMRC are saying no it should be a lot greater um, because you have a lot of global operations and sort of depend on the users and how much of the activities are happening in the UK um, the worst thing about this tax is it's 25% in the UK. Um, obviously, the UK tax rate will be increasing to 25% from 2023 onwards. Um, the problem with this tax is there's no double tax relief. So if you were, say, paying tax in, in the US, you wouldn't be able to get any claim back on that. Um, so they had, in FY 2020, um, there were 17 million collected in notices. Um, the notices were reissued at the start of 2020. And as I said, majority of those um, inquiries and negotiations are still ongoing. Um, so it, it, they're really focusing in on IP. I know that um, Chris had mentioned they're around IP. And suppose if there is there IP in the UK, um, any R&D that's being undertaken in the UK. And a lot of this, um, COVID starting to pull a lot of this out, especially with um, 
specialists if they're sort of maybe being trapped in the UK or, or traveling to the UK and um, people are a lot more um, sort of globally mobile now um, to keep an eye on that. Um, looking at management services and then also what sales are in the UK. Um, so that's probably a quick whistle top tour around digital corporate tax. Um, I just didn't want to keep anyone from their, from their coffee. Thank you very much.